I'm Principal Brennan. Welcome to the 2016-2017 school year. This is your student handbook video. Let's get this crazy train going. Hey Coyotes, we're going to be going through some things from the student handbook. So right now in the classrooms, I want you to go to the front page of the Skyline website and open up the student handbook. There's a button, student handbook 2016-2017. Teachers, you can pause the video and come back when the students are ready. Coyotes, the first area I want to cover with you is on page two called Academic Expectations. Our school is here for you and we are here to support you, but you'll see at the bottom of that page some bullet points that we want you to invest in so that your experience at Skyline is better. Be present, be on time, come to school with your homework and your materials, be a good digital citizen, things that you know will help you to be the best coyote you can be. So take a look at the academic expectations. We're in the Skyline Attendance Office, and right next to academic expectations are attendance expectations. Your strong attendance at school is an absolute key to your success. If you have to be absent, please call the Attendance Office for your grade level. Right here in the Attendance Office, there's a card with numbers for each of the attendance clerks. Your absences must be excused. If you accumulate excessive absences or tardies, there will be consequences. Attend, attend on time. It's gonna be a great key to your success. Hey Coyotes, Skyline is a closed campus for your safety and security. This means at lunch during the school day, you're required to stay here on campus. If you have an appointment and you have to leave, you need to check out through the attendance office. If you have early release, you need to show your ID to our security before leaving campus. Hey guys, I know it's hot, we live in the desert, but you have to cover yourself for school. If you read through the dress expectations, you'll see what we expect you to wear. You have to make sure your shorts are a decent length, that your tops are covering an appropriate amount of skin, you don't have spaghetti straps, guys, and that your armpits are not hanging out all over the place. That's just gross. Also, make sure you don't wear your Miller Lite t-shirt or jacket to school. You might as well just wear a Red Mountain or Desert Ridge shirt to school. We're going to dress code you if you wear that. So dress appropriate for school. You want to have a strong image. Your image is part of you. Make it count. Skyline has over 30 clubs, something for everyone to get involved in your school. If you go to the Skyline homepage and then click on clubs, you'll see a button for every single club we have on campus. There's also information about how to start a new club. Being involved in your school is going to help you be a better student overall. Find a club, play a sport, get involved in Skyline. Hey guys, I'm in the Den, the Coyote Student Store. It's back this year and better than ever. The Student Store is open before school and during lunch. And I understand Mr. Unrein might even experiment being open during the passing times if students can handle that responsibility. The Student Store carries a variety of snacks and drinks, Coyote spirit wear, we even have some computer equipment and balloons to get your boyfriend or girlfriend on their birthday. Come by the Coyote Student Store and take advantage of this great opportunity. Every student at Skyline is required to have one of these, a Skyline student ID card. If you lose yours, it will cost you $3 here in the Skyline bookstore. You can come here for a replacement ID card or you can add an athletic pass for 20 bucks. That's a pretty good deal. You can also come to the bookstore for game day shirts, parking passes, dance passes, textbooks, any fees that you have to pay. The bookstore is your place to be, but always have your Skyline ID card.
Josiah, did you buy the digital protection plan? No. Coyotes, don't be a digital doofus. You need to buy a digital protection plan to protect your device from damage. I thank Josiah and Garrett for helping out with that segment. In all seriousness, taking care of your device is a very important part of your responsibility as a Skyline student. The device is on loan to you for the school year, and we really do encourage every student to purchase a device protection plan. It will come in handy if you should drop your device, break it, have something go bad. It's like a guarantee protecting you. The devices came to us through the generous voters of Mesa approving a bond about five years ago. Now we have to show them that we can be responsible with our technology and help you students become better learners through technology. It's important that you bring your device every day, that you treat it as though it were your own, and that you only use it for school-related activities. This is an important part to remember about the device protocol. In the classroom, the teacher sets the rules about when to use the device, when not to, when it's appropriate, when it's not. It's never appropriate to try to bypass the district security measures or to download software or install extensions on your device. This is grounds for removal of the device, loss of privilege. We really ask that you respect the device, read the digital citizenship do's and don'ts, and be a good coyote and take care of your Lenovo. All right, coyotes, that's the end of the student handbook video version for 2016. Thanks for listening. And I really encourage you to read the handbook and everything that's in there because it matters to us and it matters to your success as a coyote. Have a great year. Principal Brennan, signing off.